hello guys you're welcome back to our youtube channel how are you all doing today hope you're all doing great all right guys if this is your first time of visiting my channel you're highly welcome to messy channel's kitchen please do well to join this wonderful family if you have not all right in this video i'll be showing you how to preserve or store a ripe plantain like this one you are seeing now like if you have a bunch of plantain that ripe all together at once i have how you can preserve it you can preserve it for more than two weeks or more all right so plantain i love plantain so much <laughs> i love i love fried plantain especially the ripe one so i'm going to show you two ways you can so you can preserve or store this ripe plantain here is the the first way you can preserve it if you are, if you are plantain is already well ripe just put it inside this envelope bag after stocking it in the envelope you wrap it and then put it inside the nylon all right so i'm going to be putting the one that can contain that the, this envelope can contain all right so after that after putting after putting it all i will wrap my envelope I will wrap it up and then I will tie it in the nylon. If you, if you are tying it in the nylon, just make sure that the nylon is did not tear. There, there's no way it will enter the or for um, water to begin to soak the envelope. All right. So make sure that the 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 envelope is well tied. And then you can place it inside your refrigerator. Trust me, once there is light 247, this method can last you up to two weeks. Once there is light, you don't have any problem if there is light. Where the problem lies is when there is no light, right? So there are other methods you can use aside from putting it inside this one. You can also use a um, Ziploc bag like we are seeing here you can also use this digital black bag to put it and then place it in your fridge but this method don't last long to compare to the first one that i just did all right so another method you can preserve your ripe plantain there are three methods and when when there are when you put it in this block but make sure that you extract the air that is inside the bag before zipping it up all right i love plantain so much i don't know about you so if i if i just thawed it in my freezer i'll just be frying it especially for my kids my kids love plantain so much all right so here is the overripe one as you can see i'm going to be storing them also you know i can't use all at once <laughs> so since this one has already overripe i will be showing you how i will store this one also all right okay guys please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have not please and if you like this video give it a thumbs up share to your friends and well wishes all right and tell me what you think in my comment section all right okay guys here is the third method that I'll be using to. Sorry, I mentioned um, there is two methods. Sorry, it's three after all. So here is the third method that I'll be using to preserve this um, plantain. I'll just be cutting it up. I'll just be peeling it. This method, you can use it if you want. If you want to, if you want, if you like fried plantain, or if you want to use it to cook beans or anything. Of your choice you can easily peel it and cut it to the size that you want it to be cut it to the shape that you like it most then you put it inside a ziplock bag and place it inside the inside the freezer this time around is freezer not refrigerator 
all right so i'll be i'll be cutting this one up what i'll be using this is fried <laughs> like i said before i and my kids we love fried plantains so much so we'll be cutting it up after slicing it to ash, since it's fried that we are, we are going to fry it since we are going to fry this plantain we'll be adding salt to it all right we'll add salt sprinkle a little water mix it up and then place it inside our put it in our ziploc bag and then place it inside our freezer why we put salt is because we put salt so that once you brought it out from your freezer that's, and wait for it to defrost you just fry it straight away but if for if it's for other purposes like you want to use it to cook beans you can just slice it to the size you want and then place it in your put it in ziploc bag and then place it in your refrigerator sorry in your freezer <laughs> in your freezer so here here it is i already added salt i've sprinkled water and i'm mixing it up after which i will now place it in the ziplock i'll put it in the ziplock bag and then place it inside my freezer all right guys so please if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to give it a thumbs up tell me what you think about this video and please uh, we are begging you don't forget to subscribe to our channel all right we are begging you <laughs> So guys, I'll just be zipping it up and that is all. I'll just go and place it inside my freezer. Allow it to be blocked like stone. Then whenever I want to fry it, I'll bring it out and allow it to defrost very well before frying. So guys, here comes to the end of this video. See you on my next video. I love you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>